Hey, what's up guys? This is John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you the SWS snapshots function, part of the SWS SNM extensions. What I'm going to do with this is take all the settings from one mix and import them into a different project, different song, different audio files, and import all those settings and get a good starting point for my next mix. The snapshots function can be found in the extensions menu right here. So you open that up and you get this little window and you can choose basically what you want to capture. This is a song that is already mixed. It's uh, almost complete. And I'm gonna move on to the second song for the album and use this mix as my starting point for the new song. So I've got a uh, full track mix selected here in the filter. I just wanna save everything. I'm gonna hit new, I can name it if I want. And once I have a few mixes here, I can actually uh, recall different uh, points in time throughout my mix. For this, what I want to do is take this and put it into a new song. I'm going to copy this by right-clicking and clicking copy. I'm going to switch over to the other song in another tab. Got both projects loaded in tabs. It makes copy and paste between projects very easy. So now I'm just going to right-click and click paste. So it brings up this list. On the left side, all of the tracks from the first project. On the right side, we're going to link them to the tracks on the current project. The settings for the master are going to the master, the bass, sum. Yeah, so here, right click, instead of choosing none, we're going to go to bass guitar clean. And it does a pretty good job of matching the names if they're similar, but it doesn't always get it. So this one here, vocal crush, I don't have that track in my current project, so I'm just going to do create new. And that will put it at the end of the project. Harmony vocal. Um, I think I do have a harmony vocal. So take that one. Background vocal is a bus. Uh, I do have that set up already. And then background vocal one. Four. On these tracks, it's mostly panning and level, I think. It'll save me some time, but every song's different. Uh, he may have used different mics and all that kind of stuff, so I do need to listen to everything and adjust. Let's look at this list. So I got three more background vocal tracks, so I'm going to go here and then click Add to three, choose uh, 10, 11, and 12 for this. Drum crush, that matched up. I don't need a reverse cymbal. Drums, that's all good. Kick sample, I do need to make a new one. Snare sample, I need to make a new one. Got all of these correct, guitars. Uh, so that was a Rhythm Guitars folder, I need to create that. Guitar 1. Two, three, four. These are probably just level settings, but I'm not, I'm not sure exactly. The amps are going to be different. I'm sure I'll need to tweak these things, but, uh, but you know. That's how it is with every song. So let's do lead guitar amp, lead guitar amp two, and then add one for lead guitar three. Guitar delay, and then these are all of my effects buses. So I'll just get create new and give this a name, imported. And we do want to update the project immediately. So I'm going to hit OK, and you're going to see in the mixer levels, panning, uh, effects being inserted, all that kind of stuff. And there we go. All right, so that mix is imported. The things that I need to do now for organization is to move all those new tracks that were created by the snapshots function and move them into the correct place. So these are uh, part of my drum group. 
got a rhythm guitar folder that goes there. Hit my shortcut, put that into a folder. Take my lead guitars folder, put that there, grab those, put those in a folder and make sure that that is the last one in the folder. And then I've got my delays and reverbs. Let's move the drum reverb down to the bottom with the others. And uh, I'm pretty good to tweak now. At this point, you could click new, you know, as you're making changes, moving faders and stuff like that. Move these down, move these up. I can hit new again. And if we want to go back to a previous version, I can just click here and it resets. It does take a second because it's trying to import everything, not just what was changed. If you don't want this in your list, you can right click and there's a lot of options here. Overwrite, delete, you can export it as a new file. So I'll show you that. So I would move it up a level out of the audio files folder, put that there. Merge into project. Uh, merging would be like taking uh, an older version of one track and importing it to a current version of your project. If you've been saving along the way and you realize that your bass guitar sounded better in mix one and you need that in mix three, if you're using the snapshots rather than doing multiple save as, it might be easier just to do a, a merge. The other thing you could do is uh, save just individual tracks. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you can put this into use in your own workflow. I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel because every 500 subscribers, I do a Q&A video answering your questions that come into the channel, come into my Twitter, and comments on the website. Nearly to 2,000 subscribers, just a few more, and I'll do another Q&A video. So thanks for watching. Check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials, and I'll see you soon.